Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a fun video for you guys because I'm going to be showing you my beauty room, which essentially is not really a room, it's a beauty closet, but I like to call it a beauty room because it just makes me feel better. As you guys know, I'm going to be moving, so I wanted to capture the space before I move on to a new space. I have no idea what my new space is gonna be like because I'm thinking of putting the makeup in my walk-in closet. So I'm going to have a significantly less amount of space to put my makeup, which is why I actually want to declutter some of my makeup before moving. I'm also not going to have all this wall space to put up these racks. So I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but I just wanted to capture this and memorialize it and just keep it as a memory of what my beauty room used to look like. And then I will take you along with me when I set up my new beauty space. After I'm done with the tour, next up for me is going to be taking an inventory of all of my makeup. I know where I was at the beginning of the year. I want to count how much makeup I purchased during the year and then also declutter as much as possible. In my new space, I'm gonna have less space to put my makeup, so I do want to reduce my makeup collection. So stay tuned for future videos of my makeup inventory and decluttering my makeup. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is what the closet looks like. My lipsticks are actually on nail polish racks. I did display the lipsticks in a way that they look pretty. So you can see the top shelf was black and then we have some cream ones here. And then we just have a variety of different packaging. And here you can see I have numbers on the sides because I like to count the lipsticks and write down how many lipsticks are supposed to be on that shelf. And this helps me not lose my lipsticks. By the way, that Fenty lipstick is not the $500 one. That's my DIY project. Here I have all of my golden lipsticks. At the bo bottom you see some e.l.f. lippies. Oh my god, and I love this section. I love collecting different shades of the same lipstick because they just look so pretty together. And I love Juvia's Place lip glosses. They're so good. And so are Milani lipsticks and MAC lipsticks. On the top shelf, right above the lipsticks, I have some blushes. I have a bunch of Patrick Ta blushes, one Charlotte Tilbury, and you see some Pat McGrath, some Winky looks. I also love that rose ink blush right there. And then I'll show you the bottom one, which has bronzers and highlighters and single shadows. So here I have the Rare Beauty bronzer sticks. I use one for bronzer and the other one for contouring. I also really like this rose ink bronzer and then I have a Winky Lux one, a highlighter from Rose Ink, this Huda Beauty one, and I love my powder Milani bronzer right there. It applies so smooth and silky soft. And then I have a few powders here and also have some highlighters. At the corner here I have all of my liquid single eyeshadows. These e.l.f. ones are pretty good and they're affordable. I really like them. And then I also have one from Stella, which I think it's about the same quality, but it's a little bit more expensive. Then I also tried out these Juvia's Place ones. And here is one from Rare Beauty. This one is matte. I'm so sorry about the blur that is coming on video right now. Okay, so on the left, I have a bunch of mess, which I will show you guys later. Right now, I'm going to show you what's on the table. So I have a bunch of my eyebrow pencils and other sort of accessories in this pencil holder or a pen holder that I got from Target. I thought it was really pretty because of the gold. And then next to it, I believe this is a candle that I used up and I put my black eyeliners in here that are pencil liners. Moving forward, I have a bunch of my lip liners in this box that I got from Dollar Tree. That tray on the left is a jewelry tray that I also got from Dollar Tree. I think I was putting my single eyeshadows in there before. And then I have some of my lip liners in this little DIY project where I just used a frame and a bunch of hair ties. 
And then I put my eyeliners in this eyeshadow box that I cut out in this way. As you guys can see, I do like to see my makeup so that I know exactly what I have and I can use it. I keep all of my liquid long lipsticks in this container over here. I get the feeling that these were meant to be placed in lockers, and but I just use a nail and put them against the wall. I will find all of these on Amazon and leave the links down below. All right, now let's look at this side of the rack. I have a bunch of Guerlain lipsticks at the top and then my square shaped lipsticks and then a bunch of lip glosses and then a, some random stuff at the bottom. And again, me and pencil holders. I find pencil holders to be so good for storing long, makeup products and i have some single eyeshadows here and i like hanging them onto the wall moving on to the right side of the closet what i have here in the bottom shelf is all of the eyeshadow palettes that i used at least two times this year because i have been working on like a focus project or you can call it a project pan where i was like i am going to use all of my eyeshadow palettes at least two times I hope you guys remember how many looks I have done with those Huda palettes and the Natasha Denona palettes. And, but I've also been using Milani, Winky Luxe. And what I did was I put a green dot on the palettes that I was done using to kind of like visually tell myself, okay, I am done with this. But then I decided to just put them all in one section because that helped me see my progress in one shot. And here are the dots that I was using. I will leave a link down below. Okay, moving on to the shelf up above. Here on the top, I have some powder and cream foundations. This powder foundation from e.l.f. is pretty good. And then I also have the Danessa Myricks foundation, which was very confusing for everyone. And I have this Huda primer here randomly, I guess because it was a jar form, I decided to put all of these jar form kind of products up there. And on this Wayne Goss Luxury Cream, I have used this one quite a bit. Really nicely pigmented foundation. And then I have all my liquid foundations here. And I love that this is like a turnstile type of organization product. And then in the back, I have some foundations that I have not opened yet. So I might actually not use them this year. And here I have all of my concealers all in one place. And then I also have some liquid highlighting products, nothing in there. Here I have a bunch of primers as well, a bunch of mini primers. On the top shelf, I have all of my face palettes here, and I also put all of my unused eyeshadow palettes. These are palettes that I never opened, so I think I'm going to change my project pan and just not use these palettes this year. I do love this ABH vault. It's a classic. I, there's just something really beautiful about it. And all of those palettes that you see on these shelves, these are palettes that I still need to use that I plan on using for the remainder of the year as part of my project pan. So here we are at a giant mess. This is like a dumping ground. I just dump all of my brushes here and then I just take the box onto the kitchen sink when I need to clean it. I mean, it works out, but this is definitely not the most organized way of doing things. Then in these drawers, I keep all of my new makeup that I purchased this year. So this drawer pretty much has all the blushes and then like one foundation. I like to keep my new purchases, especially new makeup for 2023 in a separate place than my old makeup. So that when I review 2023 favorites, I have it all in one place. And as you can see, I have purchased a couple of blushes. This is actually not too much compared to what one can purchase. I have been pretty good with my eyeshadow palettes and you can see that I did not purchase too many eyeshadow palettes this year. I mean, some of us can purchase like a hundred in a year and I think these are probably like around 10. Now this drawer is a crazy drawer. <laughs> These are all the lipsticks that I purchased this year. This is a bit excessive. I think there's probably around 50 lipsticks in here. Yep. These are all of my empties from my project pen. I like keeping them 
separate as well because it just makes it easier for me to monitor my progress. And these are just other empties that are not part of my project pan. And in the next drawer, what do we have here? This is makeup that I've purchased and kind of forgot about and I have not counted this as part of my inventory. It is so strange that I am not counting it. <laughs> Okay, a bunch of nail polishes in there, and then these at the bottom, I have a bunch of samples from Sephora. These are some of the lipsticks I have decluttered. I'm holding on to them because I want to do some sort of art project with them. I have some of my makeup bags in there, and then I think this is also other decluttered makeup. Okay, so the last stop is the table that I have. I have this organizer that I got from Target. And I keep a bunch of my blushes and my mascaras in here. I believe most of these blushes are cream and I, the top drawer is so good for mascaras or lipsticks. And then I have my stick blushes in here. Then there are some cream blushes and I actually I do have some powder blushes in here too. But this organizer is so great. It's clear and I can just open the drawer and immediately see everything that I have. All right, so this is it. This is my beauty room slash closet tour. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun showing you how I organize my makeup. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye.